this place until it looks better than when you arrived. Then you will leave and never come back. Or what? <laughs> Hello viewers and welcome to another episode of Trash Talk on Lancer. In today's episode, Gorgon. Gorgon, in Greek mythology, are basically three sisters who have snakes for hair that can turn whoever that see their eyes into stone. Stheno, Uriel, and the most famous one, Medusa, whose story tells us two things, Zeus wasn't at fault for literally everything sometimes, because the other Greek gods can be complete assholes too. Named after the mythical beings, Gorgon is a highly protective mech that can stop all that sees it. Onto the stat, Gorgon has fantastic health but no armor, along with average evasion and fantastic E defense. Its speed is decent, heat cap is slightly terrible, so is its sensor range but it can hack pretty well with that tech attack bonus along with an excellent save target. As for the traits, Gorgon has three of them. First, metastate paralysis, when a character that attacks Gorgon rolls a 1 or 2 on the attack roll, they are immediately stunned until the end of their next turn and their attack automatically missed. And yes, you read that correctly, there's no this can only happens to the character once per scene here. Meaning no matter what, there's a 10% chance of an enemy just get locked on the spot for even staring at Gorgon every turn and every round. This is insanely good if you are really lucky. Second, Gaze, lets Gorgon do two reactions per turn unlike literally everything else in the book. And third, Guardian, which let adjacent allies use Gorgon as hard cover. With these three traits combined, this makes Gorgon a defender mech that defend allies by reacting to any threat in sight. Keyword on reacting, you gonna see a lot of this in the rest of the license as Gorgon heavily relies on reactions. Anyway, onto its weapon mounts, Gorgon has three of them, one flex and two mains. It also has six base systems points making for a decent amount to play with. Onto its core power, Gorgon can make its harnessed basilisk to extrude itself, emitting a visual cancer of memes so toxic your eyes could literally bleed from it. After activating the core power with a reaction, for the rest of the scene, any character that attacks either the Gorgon or allies within range 3 of it must pass a system save or be stunned until the end of their next turn. This time, a target can only be stunned by this effect once per scene. Basically, anybody that attacks you has a chance of being completely screwed over. In fact, Gorgon wants people to attack it and its allies just to see them try and die horribly for it. As for the rest of the license, you get Sentinel Drone and Mimic Mesh in the first section. Sentinel Drone, is an area denial drone. After deploying it within your sensor range with a quick action, within a zone around the drone, any hostile character that makes an attacking roll in the area automatically takes 3 damage before they attack. While the drone can be attacked and destroyed, you can reuse the drone and even redeploy it elsewhere with a quick action, allowing you to use it as long as it remains intact. Very useful, if you want to dissuade enemies from attacking in a spot, or just as something to add damage. Mimic Mesh, is first among many of reaction-based systems available in Gorgon's license. First, choose an allied character within your sensor range after spending a quick action. Until the end of your next turn, each time a hostile character conducts a hostile action against that character be it attacks, forcing saving rolls, or maybe just insulting them. You can move four spaces directly towards your ally as a reaction. This movement ignore engagements and reactions, can be triggered multiple times per round, and most importantly, this movement interrupts and resolves before the triggering actions, meaning the Gorgon could use the system to move in front of the ally to provide heavy cover right before the attack. Allowing it to protect ally from a distance. Useful, if you are expecting to move around a lot. In the second section, you get Scorpion version 70.1, and Monitor Module. Scorpion, is a system made to counter against tech action. When a hostile character failed on a tech action against either you or your nearby allies, or when either you or your nearby allies succeed on a saving throw, that's both checks and saves to be clear, against a tech action, you may choose one of the following results for that attacker. You can make the attacker takes two heats and is impaired until the end of their next turn, or make them jammed until the end of their next turn instead. While it relies on the enemy missing and you succeeding, it's gonna serves as quite a devastating deterrent. Monitor module, is what I would call the moment you realized Gorgon is basically gold experience requiem. After spending a quick action and choosing a nearby ally, roll a 1d3 to gain charges. Until the end of your next turn, 
when that ally is being attacked by a hostile character, you can spend a charge to 7 page muta the crap out of them with a skirmish action at plus 1 difficulty if they are in range as a reaction. At the end of your next turn, you lose the charges. You can probably start to imagine the ridiculous damage potential Gorgon can do, and how much Gorgon wants the enemies to attack its allies just so it could murder them. In the final section, you get Scylla class NHP and Vorpal gun. Scylla class NHP is what happened when you put maternal instinct in a NHP a little too successfully. After spending a quick action, you gain two reactions that can make skirmish action as a reaction and you can set two trigger events to activate the reaction and attack the hostile attacker. First one is simple, you simply muta the shit out of anyone that attacks you or your allies within range 5 of you. Second, you can muta anyone that attacks or interacts with a specific object in the environment that isn't part of anything on a mech that you must also be able to see. However, the attacks only deal half damage, heat, and burn. Still, it makes for a very flexible counterattack reaction that can be triggered by just about anything. Lastly, Vorpal Gun, which is a very strange weapon that can only be fired once per round as a reaction to any ally that took damage from a hostile character within its range and must now destroy the target. Sure, its range is short, but it's a main ranged weapon with twice as much damage as most main weapon, very good. As a conclusion, Gorgon is a defensive mech in the loosest sense possible because it defends its allies by daring the enemies to attack them and pummel them into the ground for doing so. This mech isn't for people that want to protect their allies, this mech is for people that just wants to kill everyone that dares to even think about attacking their friends. And if you are that kind of person, welcome aboard.